time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, October 18th. S&P up 24, NASDAQ up 124, yeah. Russell slightly red, Dow slightly green, gold up 1%, silver up 6%. Wow, didn't see that. Uh, notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield down a half percent, oil down 2%, natty gas down 3.5%, uh, the grain's all red, euro and the pound a little bit green, Bitcoin up 3.5%, VIX down in the 18 handle, sitting at 18.13. Uh, my BIX were having a nice little day going until that little spiky flush and bounce. Got a double stop on that one. Uh, so down about 1,200 on those. My price action BIX, let's see, I'm up uh, about 800 or so on those. I did a 1DTE. I booked profits on some of it at 45%, and then I just transformed one contract into a double vertical for Monday's expiration. I've put on a couple of double calendars. I've put on my 5.7, my 6.7. Um, that in toss, because Tradier has been down all day. So that's supposed to be coming back into action anytime. They said... Uh, 20 minutes ago, it should have been up, should have been back up, but still not functional. Uh, I think that is, oh, my Netflix fly from yesterday was looking really nice this morning and then it just took off. So now it's, it's up above the uh, profit zone. So I'll close that by the end of the day. Other than that, that's it for me. Chad, how's your day? Yeah, it's been really good, except for that little spike uh, left me uh, a little upset about that but other than that it's been really nice um my one dt hit 25 percent and 40 percent and out so that happened pretty quickly um and then my am number one 20 40 and then stopped on the push up entered a lunchtime number one went 20 40 and just hit 60 percent and out just a minute ago so tlc count is shut down for the day at plus five thousand two hundred twenty five dollars and I've got Wugas on my two Wugas. One could use a little bounce up. The other one is centered. So overall, good day. I was mentioned in my channel here that on that little spike down in my, uh, my second account, I had a trade on that was five cents away from hitting the 20% profit target. And on that spike down, it had a dollar 40 positive slippage and stopped it. And then it, it probably cause it, came down so quick and then bounced right back up. And so it, it cut half my profits in that account, but I'm starting to get some of those back from the Wooga. That's where I'm at. Yeah. I, on that little spike down, I did not get positive slippage. I got on my big tranches. I had a dollar 40 slip and a dollar negative slippage. Um, I got a, I'll tell you, I, need, I gotta take about a five minute break during the live stream. Take a couple guys to my stone and a buddy of his to mass as they prepare for their Friday night football game. They gotta be there at 250 Central. So they have mass before before they get ready. Forgot to but mention also, my Wugas as well. I got a couple of Wugas on. My early Wooga is this one, which is on the 70, 75 strikes. It's in the lower end of its range. And then my OG Wooga is on the 65, 70 is pretty centered.
And I've got my last Bic tranche going on. It filled the put side. There we go. I'm on the 65.70, so five wide on my last one. So next double calendar up is my 4.7. I'll go ahead and get that on. I just posted my four seven. Uh, yeah, I've, I've always done my calendar manual, Moel. Just, uh, it's kind of like, you know, like anything practice becomes pretty second nature. I did not close my Netflix, unfortunately. It just opened right at my peak and just has taken off. It did start to dip back down in the profit area. And then it popped back up. So unfortunately, that would have been a nice winner had I closed right at the open, which had I done multiple contracts, I definitely would have closed some, but I just did one lot. So unfortunately, missed out. Yeah, madam, my uh, five or uh, my Friday calendars posted in the calendar trades. Yeah, exactly, Moel. You know, when you first turned 16, you got your driver's license. It was like you were like 10 and 2. When a semi passed you on the highway, you're like shaking, full concentration. And now you can text and trade and turn on the radio all at the same time while you're driving. All right, need a little bounce for my price action bit here.
pretty, you know, we had that one big bar at the open, little shake up at the open, and then it's just been kind of grinding higher to that little, a little flush that happened about an hour ago. So got my three six, three five, and three seven to enter. On the individual stock side, of course, Netflix after earnings up 11%. Piton is up 10.5%. It has earnings on the 31st. Piton has doubled in the last few months. Oh, got stopped out of my put side on my price action VIC. Got a little flush. Stopped at a two. Yeah, I had so I've had two double stops on my Bix now. Yeah, there's been some some little quick moves, man. Need this to get back above sixty five. Yeah, I've got to get out of my VXX that expired today. Netflix, another all time high just now. Yeah, these little these little quick moves, man, they will zap your profit quickly.
Yeah, so my Wugas need a little bounce. Yeah, I need, I need to get back up above 65. Closer to 70, really. Been trending downward for a while. VIX hit a low today of about at 12.20. Coinbase also up, up seven and a half. Roku up three and a half. Baba up two. Amazon up one. Apple up one. NVIDIA up one. On the red side, CVS is down five. Looks like the banks are a little bit red. Citigroup's down. Bank of America down. Looking at a straddle if you want in, Chad. Nah, TLC, TLC's been shut down. Still showing a seven plus point expected move. So with uh TLC and one DTE booked a little over 13k for the week. So happy with that after starting on Monday with a Minus 2,755 red day. I would have thought maybe we'd be testing on highs of day by now, but... That has not played out quite yet. Uh, in TOS, it's the plus or minus number over here in parentheses on the option chain. Or for zero DTE, especially when you get down to the end of the day, it's that market maker move, the MMM number, the yellow one at, top, at the top.
I'm not sure. I don't think that's SPX. Moel. Yeah. Well, looks like I got to do my three, six and toss as well. Still no, still no trader. Oh, I may have conflicting strikes here. There we go, getting back in the range here. I right, just posted my three six. I've got my three five and three seven left. Let's go. Let's get back up to sixty eight at least. Uh, yeah, it's in SPX. It's usually, I mean, depending on how quickly the market's moving, chess master. But yeah, five or 10 cents on a four-legged spread above mid is uh, normal. And remember that the mid that you see on your broker, that that's theoretical. There it, that's more that's kind of your broker just trying to estimate where it's trading. So wherever you get filled is where it's actually trading.
Just can't get legs to the upside yet. For next week, Monday, we've got a Fed speaker at noon, Central Time, Kashkari, showing his low impact. On Tuesday, I guess all week, it's the BRICS Summit, uh, FOMC member Harker speaking at 9 a.m., showing his medium impact due to speak at the annual fintech conference wednesday got existing home sales at 9 a.m and barkin speaking at 11 beige book at 1 p.m thursday unemployment claims pre-market 15 minutes after the market opens Manufacturing and Services PMI. Friday, Durable Goods and Consumer Sentiment. So not a whole lot of very important stuff. So what's your question, Chessmaster? You couldn't get filled. You, you just weren't adjusting your price to where it was trading. You're paper trading, right? Test chess master. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen that pre flight checklist. I, I mean, we're talking about. Adjusting price to get filled here. Uh, just teasing you. Kind of. <laughs> I'm so glad you took over the paper trade role, Chad. I got tired of saying it. Oh, really? <laughs> I bet. I'm glad you started to fill in on, on that for me. Get back up to 65, please.
I don't think SBX realizes how much my profits could be a lot more if it bounces. Or does it? Like it, it, it should realize it needs to bounce here. What are you talking about, chess master? I'm just trading Wugas, how I trade them. And they both need to bounce. Check the old back test there, chess master. All right, just got filled on my three seven. Profit target or die. So I'm going to skip my 3-5 unless uh, Tradier comes back on board. This maybe this looks like it wants to come down to lows of day. Or maybe not lows of day, but at least for that uh what consolidation was. Beautiful Cosmo. Hawaii? Got your vanilla latte there. Looking good. Got any rum in that or Bailey's or anything? Ah, are you are you doing the Kona Iron Man? Wow, that's not that's a big one. Good for you. I did a couple half Iron Mans back in the day. That's about all I could do. I should get back into that. I need to get shape. 
I need something to drive me to do it every day. Not coaching baseball anymore, so I don't have that as an excuse. There you go, Ken. You're on Tim Weiss time, Cosmo. Now you see why he only trades the last two hours of the day. My combined Wooga, I'm right at the break even. 5870 is my sweet spot. Yeah, chess master, I would not be I would not plan on transforming VXX trades. Personally. I put them on and just as a pure volatility play and then book profits. Yeah, I, I like to enter the VXX trades with, I mean, I prefer around 30 plus days. Sometimes I'll do them a little bit less. About 28 minutes till the bell. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I did, I did my Woogas because Tradier was down. I did them in my Magic Mahomes account. So now I don't have strikes available for Mahomes. 
Let's see here. I'll get rid of these ones and do it here. Sixty butterfly currently trading for a dollar fifty ish, dollar forty ish. All right, back from uh, dropping those boys off for mass. I was expecting uh, a move up when I got back here. Yep, nothing's changed. Ah, dang. Brutal. Brutal Friday price movement. Need some two-way action. I need above 63 to break even. As close to 70 as possible would be best. Netflix went up and hit another all-time high 10 minutes ago. And that's been pushing it all day. Yeah, I, was, I thought it was coming down for you, and then it just reversed. Right. I had a little dip midday. Dip down to about 753. So I'll just let that expire. It's far enough away. If it settles in between these two strikes, I would get a sign, but I'll watch it at the end just to make sure, but I'll probably just let it expire. You got to be careful with stocks though, because they can, I've seen it where it closes at one price, but it actually settles at another. So it can be a little, little risque, but I think it's far enough away.
That's it. Get back up there to 65. Yeah, you could close it. And the options are deep in the money. So you'd probably pay up a little bit, but you could close it. All right, I'm going to get rid of this strike here so I can start putting in my Mahomes. Mm, just can't get any legs to the upside. Work in the 60s and 65s, 20 minutes to go. Need a nice little buy side number. Pop it back up to 70. Oh man, that would be beautiful. That would be a double pin for me. I'd take 65. So the word is the word I'm getting from my peeps at Tradier is that there's a bunch of reverse stock split traders that are trading some crazy volume that Apex or who whatever the connectivity is with Tradier and their Tradier and their clearing firm they can't handle the volume. Especially it, it there, there's been some issues like at the open, but then today, I don't, I don't know if I'm not sure what's going on today, but yeah, it's not good. Down below 60. Yeah, it's getting ugly now. Hmm. Pretty much all one direction during power hour. Glad I didn't jump in a straddle. It's definitely not worth it yet, fully loaded. I had high hopes because of their uh, commission structure, but there's been too many issues. Mom. 
There's a cut. There's a time a couple of years ago when toss was down for like two days. You could still execute orders through TD, but toss was unfunctionable for like two days. That was a big deal. But the tradier today, it's, it literally, you cannot, you can't trade on it. So I opened a position on a six, seven single calendar this morning. I was trying to take off at about between 10 and 12% profit. And I just haven't been able to get out of it. It's up 16% now, which is good. I got an email. They're going to, and I've already sent them an email, you know, telling them to get out of it. And they can't, you know, they can't even get it. They can't even get out of it yet. And so they've assured me that they will make, make it right. So we'll see come Monday. Hovering at 60, 60 butterfly trading for about a dollar seventy, dollar seventy five, maybe fifteen minutes to go, five minutes till MOC. Yeah, from what I understand, Robinhood only has an API for crypto. And then they, you know, it's kind of like they're similar to Tradier. Their whole business model is, pay, you know, getting payment for order flow. So your execution is going is to be a little sus. Yeah, Financial Juice, um, they changed their MO, they, they changed the data provider that they got that MOC from since I did that video. So it used to be the New York Stock Exchange MOC, and now it's, now they report on S&P, NASDAQ, MAG7, something else. But it should show up shortly after 10 minutes till the bell on your feed. So I have mine on, I have the, I have the pro version. So I think it's less delayed. Maybe I think the free version might be 15 or 30 seconds delayed, but I have mine on the voice streaming so that I don't have to check this because it comes in faster on the voice if you click this little streaming button and then it posts here in the feed a little little while later, 15, 30 seconds later.
right between strikes sitting at 62 Thanks, Moel. It's a good sacrifice. Take one for the team. I like it. The 60 looks like it's close to filling. Thirty seconds till MOC filled on the sixties. All right, let's go. Big up number. Filled on my bot as well. I would even take a dip down to fifty-five, lock in the vertical, and then rip back up to sixty-five or seventy. That would be ideal. That would that would be a good end of the week. No, it's just bounce. <laughs> Am I asking too much here? Man, don't be greedy. Yeah, six hundred seventy-three million buy side. Small. All right, let's just bounce. Been a little bit since I got filled on the Mahomes before MOC. Brutal. Come on, power hour. Finish strong. Sixty three is a break even for my Wugas and for Mahomes. Above that is gravy. Let's get into that gravy train. Uh, we got we got quite a few West Coasters. I think they just get up early, though. Fully loaded. Tim's in Hawaii. So he's really far west. All right, get some legs here. That high of day looks really nice. Looks yeah, like it was a really nice spot to settle in. 
Two good green bars here. Uh oh, don't stop now. I like it. I like what we're, I like where we're going with this. As do I. Oh, I did not get locked. So close. Ticked above 65. Get up there. Get up there to 68, 70. Man, it ticked above 65, but my vertical did not did not fill. Get back up there. Ah, coming back down, darn it. One more green bar that same size. Four minutes. Four minutes, four points higher. Boom, Mahomes locked in. Will that be a $2,000 winner? Unless we crash, then it will be even more. But for Wooga, I'm in the green. I want more green to the upside. He's up above 65. There we go. Keep trucking. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a winner on my price action Bix. I'm a winner on my Mahomes. I'm a loser on my regular Bix. And Wooga has two minutes to prove himself. I need 
70 for it to be a double pin. Same here. Yeah, my early is actually just outside break even. Need it need above 65 for that one. My later one. I need above 65 for a pin. Seventy for the double pin. Yep, same here. Oh, come on. Where are you going? Wrong direction. Get back up there. Thirty seconds. Go, 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 go. Up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> Five, Above 65. Four. Above 65. Three, two. Go, 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 go. One. <laughs> little, little tiny markup. Looks like 64, 68. All right. So. I'll take it. That'll be good for about a little over 1,200 on Wooga. All right. That's a wrap, kids. Uh, let's see. Next week, starting on the 21st. So Chad will be streaming live at the market open for day trading Monday through Thursday. Power hour every day. I'll be doing day trading on Friday the 25th. All right, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. Talk to you soon.